everybody, it's Marissa. Thanks for coming back to see me. This is week 103. Um, here to give you a very quick update of what I've been up to. Um, the week has gotten away from me once again. Those short holiday weeks throw me for a loop. I am extremely tired. There's no word to describe how tired I am today. I had a very long day at work um, and I figured I better make this video right now or it's not going to happen. And next week is week 104, which is my two year surgery anniversary from having surgery two years ago. So I think that's on Thursday. It's the 13th. And I think it's, yeah, it is. It is the 13th. I can't even keep track of the days anymore. I think it's Thursday. Uh, anyway, so it's going to be two years next week that I made the decision to completely change my life. Um, I'm not going to do like a retrospective video or anything like that because actually today was supposed to be the day that I was going to see my surgeon for my two year follow up. My appointment actually got changed last week. It got pushed back to next month. So I'm not seeing my surgeon assistant until the 3rd of October. So I won't have like my final after pictures. I won't have my final um, results because I'm getting, you know, my tests done. Um, so I'm going to hold off until then. So that's a couple more weeks, not a huge deal. Um, but I'm still excited, you know, to reach that milestone for me. Um, it's been amazing to say that my life has changed dramatically. Um, in two years and just you know in my weight is an understatement because so many other things my life is completely different um, it's crazy you know when I when I look back and I feel and I see you know the changes that have made I've made in two years it's kind of it's I just never would have thought let's just put it that way that my life would be so different and in a good way you know I'm very very happy um, and let me tell you quickly, I have no notes tonight. Usually I have some notes to go on to keep myself on topic. I have no notes. Um, the last time I updated, I had just done the 24-hour holiday detox. I'm going to quickly go through the detox aftermath. I enjoyed the detox. I enjoyed the four-pound weight loss. Um, Afterward, the following week was hard. Last week was hard. And I mean, the whole week was hard simply because of how I felt physically after doing the detox. I felt like I was lactose intolerant. I eat a lot of dairy. Um, it's a main source of me for my protein. And I think once I did the detox, it was extremely hard for my body to readjust. Extremely. So I would do the detox again in the future, but I would definitely do like a lactate or something the day after when I transitioned back into like my yogurt and all that because I felt awful and the scale actually went up a little bit just simply because I felt like I was just, I don't know, like I couldn't digest things very well. It all evened itself out and it ended up, you know, coming back off, which was great to see, but physically I didn't feel the greatest. So that's just a little word of warning. It's just my personal experience. Everybody's different. You may do the detox and feel fantastic. Not me. I had a little bit of a different sort of reaction, but it's fine now. So that's passed. I'm still doing my fitness pal, 1200 calories a day, protein first. I try to get in over a hundred grams of protein every single day. Um, that's my personal goal. Um, 100 ounces of water every day um, and that seems to be working for me so um, just chugging right along you know not obviously sprinting towards any kind of you know finish line because there is no finish line essentially I've come to that conclusion as well um, and it, it you know it's a way of life I can't say it gets tiring I can't go back to my old life I don't really I can't um, relate to that person anymore, you know, so this is my new life. This is the way it's going to have to be. If I want to stay successful, um, I have to do these things for myself. So, um, one thing I did get my official after pictures from my plastic surgeon when I had my brachioplasty, I consented to have my pictures used on their website. So they ended up emailing those to me. So here are my after pictures, my before and after pictures. Have a look. So I am forever grateful um, to my surgeon. I love my surgeon uh, who did my arms and she has given me a new, um, a new lease on life in that respect because, you know, to live with the excess skin, as you can see what I experienced, you know, before I had my procedure, it just wasn't comfortable and I'm very glad to be over that point. Um, I'm still, um, 
healing though, I mean, even today I was at work and I felt my arms very, very sore. Um, my incision still hurt. Um, and like I said, I'm just exhausted today. I don't know if that kind of just makes everything a little bit more sensitive, um, but it's a healing process. It takes time. Uh, I'm not being impatient. I'm very pleased with the results, so I can stay, you know, patient in this whole thing. So anyway, everyone, that is it for now. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks as always for your support and for watching me and hello to my new subscribers and hello to my faithful viewers. I love you all. Thank you for reaching out to me. Um, and I'll be back next week for my two year check-in and I will see you all then. Bye.